what's inside a bubble. When we blow bubbles with this kind of bubble mix, we're breathing into the bubble. So whatever's in our mouth is going in to the bubble. And have you ever looked to see which way the bubbles go? When we're outside and it's windy, those bubbles zoom off in all directions, but in here, there's no wind. Which way do the bubbles go? They land on the table. Should we do that again? Hmm. So they don't go up. Not these bubbles anyway. What about the bubbles in my fizzy water? Do they go down? Let's look at something else they can do. I've just dipped some of my breakfast cereal out here. It's got raisins in it. I'm going to drop just a raisin in it. Watch what happens. Oh, it's up to the top already. I wonder what's inside these bubbles. Is it the same as what's inside these bubbles? Lots of things to wonder about bubbles. Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. I'm going to make a mixture in my pot. I'm going to take a solid and a liquid and we're going to see what happens. Can you see all the bubbles I'm making? Can you hear the fizzing? So, I didn't put water in there. I actually put vinegar in there and the solid was bicarbonate of soda. And the gas that they're making in there is carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is quite unusual. Now this isn't something you can do on your own at home. You need an adult if you're going to work with a candle and matches. But I can show you, it's safe on film. You ready? It's my lit candle. <gasps> and it's gone out. Interesting, carbon dioxide puts out fires. They use it in fire extinguishers for that very reason. There's something else that's rather strange about carbon dioxide. Let's have a little look at this. Now these bubbles, full of air, they should just go down, shouldn't they? But can you see what they're doing? I'm gonna make myself a bubble wand. Just need something wiry that will keep its shape. But what if we made it square? Does it make a difference? You know, you can always use washing up liquid and water to make your bubble mix. I wonder what else you could experiment with. I put the raisins in my fizzy liquid, but I don't have to put raisins in it. There's all sorts of other stuff in my breakfast cereal. I wonder what happens with oats. Does it do the same thing? I wonder what you'd like to try. What will you find out today? I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. Oh, that's not going to work. Ooh, 
I'll keep trying. Have fun finding out about bubbles.